Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do something that um, is, well, it's very special. It's, uh, it's totally retro, nostalgic food. I'm going to do a taste test of this, and then I'm going to attempt to make these. Findus Crispy Pancakes, Mince and Onion. Oh yeah. <laughs> So I had a request to do this a few months ago from Mike Otter, uh, and I thought, hmm, Finder's Crispy Pancakes. I haven't had one of those since I was young. And they've, they, they seem to have had a little resurgence. Adam Zietz had a go at making them. Last week on Celebrity Masterchef, one of the contestants made them, but he wasn't allowed to explain that they were... Finder's Crispy Pancakes, because it's the BBC. They were a bit rubbish. Um, hopefully, I can do better. We'll see. Uh, but first, I need to remind myself what they actually taste like, because it has been such a long time. And, and also, you have to say Finder's Crispy Pancakes, because on its own, Crispy Pancakes isn't a thing. I think Finder's invented them. Um, so, we'll see. Anyway, uh, looking forward to this one. Let's do it. Right, Findus Crispy Pancakes, four of the little blighters, minced onion flavour. This, this photo is so obviously faked, it is nowhere like what an actual one looks like. It, it doesn't actually look cooked. And new recipe, that's encouraging. Um, so, ingredients. Water, wheat flour, breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs contain wheat flour. The wheat flour contains wheat, calcium carbonate, iron, niacin, thiamine, vitamins. Um, and then yeast, wheat, gluten, paprika, salt, turmeric, dextrose. Okay, paprika and turmeric for colour, I guess, to make them that lovely, authentic, bright orange colour. So we mustn't forget that. Cooked beef, 6%. I might use a bit more than that. Pasteurised whole egg, fried onion, 3%. And the fried onion contains onion, sunflower oil, okay. Uh, skimmed milk powder, sunflower oil, salt, tomato puree, natural colour, which is plain caramel. So that's all, you know, cool and groovy. And to prepare, tastiest when oven baked straight from the freezer for 15 minutes. Alternatively, grill it for 12 to 15 minutes. I think I'll bake it. Right, let's cook these. So I'm going to do them in the oven. The oven needs to be 200 degrees Celsius because it's a convection fan oven or 220 if it isn't. Oh, also gas mark seven. I never understand about gas mark things because I don't like gas ovens. But anyway, um, la la la, preheat the oven, remove all the packaging, get away. Place on baking tray in middle of oven, turn over halfway through. Cook until crisp and golden, and it says 15 minutes. So, I'm just going to do two for my sample, and I'll save the other two as a treat for Mrs. Keith Cooks. <laughs> oh, that's a, God, look at that. Uh, as always with food you remember from your childhood, it's shrunk somewhat it's tiny tiny um yeah they recommend that two of these is one serving so okay let's get the oven on get them in and come back in 15 minutes well here we go <laughs> Findus crispy pancakes they look um very dry and deeply unappetizing and uh Slight ooze, a little bit of oozing. <laughs> Ew. There's something in that I really don't like. I think it's the texture. Um. And the flavour. Roma. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're sort of, you know, they're not meaty. The 
yeah, just crispy. They do, actually, apart from overcooking them on the edge of it, they do look exactly like the picture on the packet, which is not cooked breadcrumbs. Very, very strange. And tomorrow I'll have a go at making my own version. Yeah. Okay, to make our Keefe crispy pancakes, we first of all need to make up the minced beef and onion filling. Uh, by the way, the original Findus range had things like probably chicken and mushroom and a, a cheesy one and a fishy one, but I think my favourite was the minced beef and onion. Uh, sadly, not now, as you saw. Anyway, I'm just going to make up some simple minced beef and onion gravy kind of thing. So I've got half a kilo of minced beef, I've got um, medium onion, I will have half a litre of beef stock made up from the magic cubes, bouillon cubes, um, teaspoon of parsley, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper and maybe some salt, we'll see. So, um, uh, yeah, let's chop the onion. <laughs> Now we need to heat some oil in the pan. Oh no! Well that's a pain in the backside. I bought this from uh, Oxfam when I did my chocolate chilli chicken and uh, I was dead pleased with it because it was really cheap. It was like £2.50. And um, it's that beeping means it does not work with an induction ring. So I have to use the... Uh, the very heavy big pan, which I'm a bit fed up of, really, because it really is too heavy. But, you know, I'm only little. These things are sent to try us. Da, 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 da. Right, let's uh, pop the onions in. And we do want these to go a little bit brown on the edges. Looking good, let's add the meat. And turn up the heat a bit, because we want this to brown. Um, quite rapidly without releasing all of it. Alright, that looks about right. So now I'm going to add the beef stock and the parsley and the pepper. Give those a good stir. You might add a bit of tomato puree. Actually, I should do because it was in the Finder's recipe. Except I use passata, not puree. Anyway, let that uh, simmer away for about 20 minutes and then we'll play with it. Okay, we've had about 20 minutes, and we'll have a wee tasty. Doesn't need any extra salt. So I'm just going to sift in some flour to thicken the gravy. Okay, just let that cook through for a few minutes. And when it's cooled down a bit, I'll put it in the fridge to cool down completely, and then I will make the pancakes. So while we wait for the filling to cool down, we can make up our pancake mix. And ingredients for that, I've got 60 grams of plain all-purpose flour. I've got 100 ml of milk. I've got an egg, a pinch of salt, and some butter to cook them in. So just add your salt to the flour. Add the egg. Whisk that in. This is, this is not a huge amount, it's, it'll just make about six pancakes, which is probably plenty. <laughs> just whisk that, get it as smooth as you can. Okay, so it's a nice, loose, runny mix. Um, I'll just put that in the jug, I'll put that in the fridge to rest for like half an hour. Well, this is annoying. I was going to try the pancakes here in this little pan so you can see it more clearly. And uh, this little pan also doesn't work on the induction hob. These things only work with, uh, basically, with stainless steel. So I'm going to have to, you know, get more pans. Yes! <laughs> so I'll have to do that on the old gas stove thing. All right, so I've got a knob of butter melting in the pan on medium-ish heat. Pour in a bit of the batter and squeeze it round to coat the bottom a bit more. Don't worry if your first one's rubbish. It's one of the fundamental laws of physics that the first pancake is always garbage. 
Right, I love it when I'm proved right. That is utter rubbish. That's not a happening pancake. So, the second one, this should be okay. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, well, that was that was looking great <laughs> until I did that. Um, I think I might not toss the others because I haven't got that much batter to waste. And uh, we do want a nice, smoothly circular pancake to play with. Anyway, um, so when you've cooked them all, just stack them. Don't worry about trying to keep them warm. We don't actually want them hot when we assemble the crispy pancake. I didn't manage to get as many as I wanted. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four. You know, and that's the second one, which is a bit dodgy. Uh, the first one I've eaten. The last one is uh, not actually big enough. <laughs> and I'm not going into the area or the arena of making tiny food. So I'll eat that as well. Right. Um, so we need those cool before we can assemble them, so they go in the fridge. Right, so I've got all my bits ready to go. I've got my filling, I've got my pancakes, I've got some beaten eggs, some flour, some breadcrumbs, and into the breadcrumbs I've mixed half a teaspoon of turmeric and half a teaspoon of paprika and a pinch of salt. And that's just, well, the paprika and the turmeric to give it that um, bright orange colour. <laughs> Grab a pancake and... Paint the edge with beaten egg. That should make it stick, fingers crossed. Teaspoon of filling. Oh, a teaspoon. <laughs> a large spoonful of filling. Fold it over. Press the edges down. All right, as, as we noted in the taste test of the real ones, <laughs> you don't want too much filling, or you don't get too much filling. So dip that in the flour, get it well coated. Then you need to pop it in the egg and then the breadcrumbs. Shake off any excess and stick it there and do the rest. I've got a little bit of bread in there to test the heat. It's, it should start bubbling when the oil is hot enough. Okay, it's bubbling a bit. So let's put the pancakes in. Oh yeah, I'm not calling them pancakes. I'm going to call them Keefe's Crispy Crepes. So really they, they just need to cook for two or three minutes each side until they're nice and gold and brown. Alright, I've turned them over and they're um, looking pretty good actually. A bit browner than the Finders ones, but um, certainly looking a lot more appetising I think. I think they're done. Alrighty. Um, I think that the turmeric was a mistake. I mean, it's, yeah, I can actually smell it. and. Uh, the oil in the pan is yellow. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's a lot of faffing about, but um, it might actually be worth it. I can say with 100% certainty, that is a million times better than what Finders do. Got me, that's really good. And that's that, I hope you enjoyed it. Now please do the usual, likes, shares, comments, subscriptions, donations, patronage, all that good stuff, or just some of it. <laughs> and thank you for watching and see you next time.